Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the PDF Element team and I'm going to be your host today. For many companies out there, it's an essential practice to create forms inside of PDF documents, be it for surveys of sorts or maybe just for contracts. Whatever it is, you can do so with PDF Element Pro very easily, creating forms inside of PDF files that other people can sign, put their names and birth dates into and the like. And that's what we are going to talk about today. But before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the PDF Element channel as well as click the little notification bell on there. This this way you're going to stay updated for future features that will eventually come to PDF Element or maybe you want to participate in some kind of giveaway that we are doing here from time to time on the channel. No matter what it is, become a member of the family. And now we are going to dive right in, shall we? Now after opening up the PDF file, all the essential tools can be found over inside of the form tab. Click on that and now we are going to take a look at adding text at first. Text means it's a highlighted field where people can put in their name, date of birth or the like. For this you are going to click onto the add text button and then you can drag around this little text box that you can place wherever you wish inside of your PDF document. I'm going to place two here and once you're done with that you can click escape button and now we can start editing our text boxes. To edit a text box simply double click on it and now you can for example delete the text that you can find as the name inside of the text box or maybe you can add a tool name like name for example. If people hover over it they can see oh I have to put my name into here. You can find other properties that you can edit here but once you're done click on close. And to see if your form fields actually work, click onto the preview mode and then you can start adding text into the text box by clicking onto it, add your name for example and clicking outside once again. You can see that it's still a highlighted field but with your new information plugged into there. Also our tooltip is working, by hovering over it you can see name as our text as a little hint for the PDF reader what they need to plug into the text box. A very essential tool that you can already see here a bunch are so-called checkboxes. You can add checkboxes by clicking onto the add checkbox button and now you can place it wherever you wish. For example one checkbox here and the other checkbox here. Once again we can edit the checkboxes by double clicking onto one and then a new window is going to pop up. You can once again add tooltips for example if that is necessary. And you can also change the appearance or what kind of tick or circle you want to have inside of your checkbox. To change the type of tick etc you want to have inside you are going to click onto the options button and we are going to change from a check mark for example to a diamond. And you can also change the appearance meaning what you want to have as a border color for example we want to have bluish tone or maybe the line thickness maybe we want to have a very thick line. Whatever it is you want to do change the properties however you wish and once you're done click onto the close button. And if you want to check yet again if everything works, you are going to go into the preview mode and then we can click onto our checkboxes. By the way, you can also scale those up and down if you wish. For this you are going to click onto the checkbox and then you can scale it however you wish. You can hold the shift button if you want to have it nice and square and then replace it to the point where you want to have it inside of your PDF document. Next to checkboxes there are also so called radio buttons. They are basically little checkboxes in, in circle form that you can click into and then you can say yes or no to something. Click onto the radio button, button and then you are going to place the radio button wherever you wish inside of your PDF document. As before you can scale it up and down, place it wherever you wish, replace it and if you want to check the properties or you want to change something double click onto one of the radio buttons. Once again you can change the options, what you want to have inside and you can also change the appearance however you wish, for example the line thickness. And once you're done we are going to check if everything works out by going into the preview mode and then clicking into our radio button. As mentioned before, radio buttons are mostly used if you want to choose yes or no on a question or maybe if you are male, female etc. They are only going to give you only one option, you can only choose one out of many options and you are going to notice if you include more than one radio button. If you click into another one, the check mark on the other one is going to disappear. This is what radio buttons are actually for. 
Next, we are going to add a so-called combo box. This is just a drop-down menu that you can open up and then you can select the option that you prefer. For this, click onto the combo box option and then place it wherever you wish. Once you're done, open the properties again and you can start adding options by clicking onto the options button. And now you can start adding the items. For example, one and then two and then three. Once you added all the items, you can also de delete them here or you can sort them or you can allow users to put their own options into there. You are going to click onto the close button and once again we can preview everything. And now by clicking the arrow you can choose the option from the drop down menu that you prefer the most. And last but not least we are going to add a so-called list box. This is going to give you a list of options that you can unfold, choose the option that you prefer and then you are going to be done. For this you are going to click onto the add list box button and place it wherever you wish inside of your PDF document. Once again you can edit the options by double clicking onto it, getting into the properties window and going into the options. And now you can start adding items just like before. And once you're done, click onto the close button and now we are going to try it out for ourselves. Now to choose your option, you are going to click inside of the list box and then for example, I want to choose the number one and then click outside of the list box and now one is going to be selected. And this basically concludes today's video and if this video was helpful and to your liking, why not subscribe to the PDF Element channel then, become a member of our family and stay updated for future features that will eventually come to PDF Element Pro as well as giveaways that we are doing here from time to time on this channel. This has been Jens from the PDF Element team and I bid you farewell, please stay safe, ciao!